Hey everybody, this is Book Time in the Garden. And I thought for the inaugural read, what a better book than The Biggest Fish in the Sea by Dalov Ipkar, one of my childhood favorites. And we're going to be focusing on children's books for this, for these readings. It's a, a wonderful book. Simply the the timing or the or the the, the datedness of the book has a special uh, quality to it. Her art is absolutely fabulous, and we can see that this was the uh, first printing, 1972. And in, in, spend some time enjoying the inside cover if you have a if you have a copy of this book. If you don't find one, there's my mom's name up there. Thank you, mom. I have a few of these treasures still left that uh, we've managed to keep intact through all the readings. I read this one this morning to my four-year-old daughter. There's imaginative, and the, and the principles and lesson in this book is, is one that all of us, old and young, could be reminded of. Once there was a very small boy named Tino. One day he went fishing, and he caught a very small fish. He brought it back to his family and said, Look at the big fish I caught. They all laughed at him and said, that's just a little fish. Tino got very, very angry and he told them, I'm going out and catch the biggest fish in the sea. He went down to the wharf and threw in his line and he caught a good sized fish. Are you the biggest fish in the sea? He asked. The fish said, no, there are much bigger fishes than me. So Tino threw the fish back in the water and watched it swim away. Then he threw in his line again and he caught a bigger fish. And another even bigger fish. And another even bigger. And bigger. And he asked each fish, are you the biggest fish in the sea? And each one said, no, there are much bigger fishes than me. So he let them all go. Finally, he caught an enormous fish. And when he asked it, are you the biggest fish in the sea? It said, no, there are two fishes bigger than me. So Tino let that fish go too. He threw in his line again, and he caught an enormous, tremendous fish. And when he asked that fish, are you the biggest fish in the sea? It answered, no, there's one fish bigger than me. So Tino let that fish go and threw in his line once more. This time he caught an enormous, tremendous, gigantic fish. He asked it, are you the biggest fish in the sea? And it said in an enormous, tremendous, gigantic voice, Yes, I am. So Tino tied it to one of the pilings of the wharf and ran home to tell his family. They laughed and they laughed, but they all went down to the wharf to see the fish he'd caught. They were amazed because it was certainly the biggest fish in the sea. All the people of the town came to see the big fish. But while they were standing on the wharf gazing up at it, the fish opened its great mouth and swallowed Tino and all his family and all the people and the whole wharf and the town with all its houses and a big chunk of the land too. It was black as night inside the fish and very scary. Tino's whole family was scared to death and so were all the people of the town. They all shouted, let us out, let us out. But the fish did not hear them. Then Tino lit a candle and he climbed to the belfry in the high church steeple where he was near the fish's ear. And he rang the bell and he shouted, let us out, let us out. The fish heard him and said, why should I let you out? You caught me and you wouldn't let me go. Fishes aren't supposed to swallow people in houses and land, Tino said. 
Fishes are supposed to be caught. Fishes are supposed to swim free in the sea, said the fish. But what do you eat when you swim free in the sea, Tino asked. And the big fish answered, I eat other fishes. Then you should understand why we catch fishes, Tino said. People have to eat too. You caught me, the big fish said, and I am much too big for you to eat. Even all the people in your town couldn't eat me up. So why did you catch me? I just wanted to show you to my family, Tino said. I just wanted them to see that I had really caught the biggest fish in the sea. Yes, said the fish, and its voice was deep and angry. And then you would have pulled me out of the water and hung me up to die. And you would have stood beside me and had your picture taken to show what a great fisherman you are. This is what men do to big fish. No, said Tino, I would have let you go again. But the fish said, I don't believe you. I caught lots of other big fishes before I caught you, Tino said. I could have hung them up and had my picture taken, but I didn't. I let them all go. But the fish still said, I don't believe you. Ask all the other fishes, cried Tino. So the big fish turned and swam far out into the deep sea. Tino could hear the water churning past its sides and all the people below were wailing and crying in the darkness. The big fish swam out into the middle of the ocean and it called all the other big fishes like a voice with, with a voice like thunder. Then it questioned them. The little boy who caught me says that he caught you all too and let you go. Is this true? And all the big fishes of the sea answered, Yes, it is true. Then the biggest fish in the sea said to Tino, You have told me the truth, and I will let you go, but only if you promise that you will never catch a fish again except to eat. And Tino cried, I promise. Then he turned and called down to the people in the darkness below, Do you promise too? And all the people answered, Yes, we promise. We will never catch any fish anymore except to eat. So the biggest fish in the sea swam back to the shore, and it opened its great mouth and coughed up Tino and his family, and all the people in houses, and the big chunk of land that it had swallowed. Then the fish flipped his big tail, and water came splashing down like a thunder shower from the sky. And all the people ran into their houses. But Tino stood on the wharf while the shower fell all around him, and he watched the big fish swim away. He was filled with the wonder and, magnific and the magnificence of him, and he was glad that the biggest fish of all was still alive to swim free in the sea. The end.